Well, I've been asking everybody, gentlemen, I want to ask you, tell me about your relationship, if you will, with Shakespeare. When did you first <laughs> become aware of Shakespeare? My relationship is very, uh, I guess it's on the honeymoon stage. See what I mean? Uh, this is new. This is all new to me. Uh, again, uh, I feel like it's a completely new language. Um, and it was it was tough. Um, it, it, it was very hard to really understand Shakespeare, and then having to uh, in, you know interpret it like that. And uh, in this setting, was very difficult too. Uh, you obviously know the makeup was so much, um, and that also was extremely challenging. I, I sort of uh, cursed it for a minute, you know, because uh, it was so it was so difficult that I, I I cursed it the whole time I was I was making it, but I guess um, it really um, took me there. I mean, it, I, I was literally Caliban every time I would come out of that makeup room. Well, that's what I was thinking, and just to hear you describe it, mm -hmm. do you feel like that helped? So you feel like that helped you complete the, the character because that was really kind of I think kind so. of the character's experience. Right? Yes, I think so. I think it kind of enhanced the, the uh, my ability to interpret the character. Yeah. Russell thought that maybe the whole makeup process actually made you angry that you had to to go through that <laughs> every day. And He's you know, right. He was like, oh, you're He's pissed right. off. He's the other element that was you know, made me angry. Russell is the other element that made me angry, but he was so talkative and so funny. It was really hard to keep, you know, keep cool around him, and I needed to stay cool because, I mean, obviously my temperature, uh, you know, goes up a little bit. Uh, then when the makeup started to come off, and so he didn't service, uh, you know, help at all. But uh, yeah, definitely, uh, it was, it was fun. We we had a great time. Alfred Molina also was very, you know, again, it was the two of them constantly. You know. But in your in your role. You, you got to Excuse be so me. much a part of the dramatic side of the story, and mm -hmm. then also the the comic relief part of the story. Right. Let's let's start with the comic relief part. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about this this comic trio of you and, and, and Af Alfred and Russell. Well, Caliban need definitely uh, desperately needed to find people, or certainly spirits, because he considered them as, uh, you know he considered them a spirit because he's never seen anyone or any. Anybody else on on his island ever, apart from uh, uh, Helen's, um, you know, Prospera and her daughter. Um, I forgot where I was going with it. I, uh, I lost my train of my thought. But uh, we were just talking about the comic trio of the. Oh three right. Three. So we were talking about uh, the comic trio. The, the comic the trio. So obviously Caliban. Uh, being the men of the island, couldn't, I mean, when he came up on those two spirits, he d and was able to uh, befriend those two spirits. Uh, his first goal is to find ways to get those two on his side, so he can get rid of uh, 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 Prospera, and uh, and made those the you know he will be servants to those. He would uh, you know take care of them. The way He's the same way he's taking care of Prospero on that island, and but uh, being a, a character that's very primal and have very little limitations to anything, uh, uh, the, the 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 trio, the the dynamics between the trio was uh, very uh, animated by obviously you know Russell Brand and uh, Alfred Molina. Those two together were just like a, uh, you know perfect uh, in uh, 